everyone. My name is Tom and welcome to Kingdom Kids. Now, in Kingdom Kids, we have three rules. And the way we say them is like this. You gotta pat your legs like drums and say rule number one. one. Rule number one is to listen to your teachers. So reach up high, grab your listening ears, and turn them on. Can you hear me? Oh, okay, good. That means they're working. All right, slap your legs for rule number two. Two. Rule number two is to believe that God loves you this, this much. Wow, that's a lot. All right, and let's get ready for rule number Rule number three is to do, do your, your homework. homework. Oh, wait, I don't think that's it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do, do your, your best. best. Yeah, whatever we do today, we have to do our best. All right, can you help me clap and get where we need to go? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Wait, this isn't where I need to be. Ooh, it's cold. All right, help me clap. One, two, three. Ah, it's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Help me clap again. One, two, three. Ooh. Much better. Well, if you guys will stand up, we're going to sing a song of worship together. I'll see you in just a minute. It's a new day, and I'm feeling so alive with you. I'm feeling so alive with you. You're making all things brand new. So crazy to believe that nothing's ever gonna come between all the love that you have for me. It's a new day, and I'm feeling so alive with you. I'm feeling so alive with you.
job singing, everyone. Now, to get started, I'm going to need my Bible. Here we go. Why did the farmer give a tiny cough drop to the pony? Because he was a little horse. <laughs> get it? <laughs> little horse. <laughs> Dad jokes book. I'm always forgetting. Oh. I need my Bible. There we go. Now today, we're going to be in the book of Luke, chapter 4. And just in case you're wondering, there's no paper in my Bible. Jesus traveled to Capernaum with Andrew, James, Simon, and John. And on the Sabbath day, he went to the synagogue and taught there. The people were amazed because he taught with authority. And while he was there, a man with an unclean spirit cried out, Jesus, we know who you are, the Holy One of God. And Jesus said, be quiet and come out of him. The spirit yelled one more time and then came out of the man. Ooh. But the people were amazed. They said, who is this Jesus that speaks with authority and the spirits listen to him? Well, later they went to Andrew and Simon's house and Simon's mother-in-law was sick. And Jesus took her by the hand and healed her. And then that night, everyone was bringing sick people and people with unclean spirits to Jesus and he was healing them. The people were amazed by Jesus. And now it's time for a Kingdom Kids recap video. Jesus traveled to Capernaum with his disciples Simon, Andrew, James, and John. He went into the synagogue on the Sabbath and began to teach. The people there were very surprised at his teaching. Jesus' teaching was not like the scribes' teaching. He spoke with authority. Just then, a man with an unclean spirit shouted, What do you have to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus commanded the spirit to be quiet and to come out of the man. The spirit yelled again and then came out. Everyone was amazed. Who is this Jesus? They asked. He teaches with authority and the unclean spirits obey him. News about Jesus spread quickly throughout all of Galilee. Next, Jesus and his disciples went to Simon and Andrew's house. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever. Jesus went to her, took her hand, and healed her. She got up and began to serve them. That evening, large crowds of people came to the house with others who were sick or bothered by evil spirits, and Jesus healed them. Early the next morning, Jesus went out by himself to pray. Simon and the other disciples found him and said, Everyone is looking for you. Jesus said, Let's go on to the nearby villages so that I can preach there too. This is why I have come. And here's today's Christ connection. Jesus' miracles proved that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. His miracles strengthened people's faith and met their needs. Through Jesus, God did what was impossible for us to do on our own. He provided forgiveness, salvation, and eternal life. Now, I've got two questions for you to answer with your teacher and your class. Question number one, what did Jesus' miracles prove? And question number two, what is something God has done that has amazed you? Well, thanks for joining me today at Kingdom Kids. And remember that God loves us so much that we just have to show his love to others. I'll see you next week.